problems. How about a, wait for it, flameless lighter. Wait a minute, Lou Caputo, come out here and explain everything uh, in the, <laughs> the meaning of life to me. Um, what a great idea. Isn't it neat? Solution guy, Luke Caputo, everyone. Well, yeah, okay, so welcome to the future, because this is what it's about, okay? This is a lighter from Bell & Howell right here. We call it the tack lighter. Now, as I'm holding it right here in my hand, it almost looks like it's like a little memory stick that you would put in your computer. It has a little cover on it right here. I'm gonna take the top off, and I'm gonna slide this up, and when I do that, it exposes these two prongs. Now, watch what happens when I press this little silver button. There's an arc that's happening right there, okay? And that's what's going to light everything. It's actually an electrical charge that's traveling between these two electrodes right here. It's plasma, technically, and that's what's gonna start your fires. Now, this is completely rechargeable. You can see right there, there's three LEDs that show how much of a charge it has. We give you a charging cable, we give you a little carrying pouch, mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to charge this off of any cell phone, USB adapter, off a computer, off of anything that you've got handy. The best part is that when you close it and you put it away, there's no way that this can light. This is cool. Very, very safe. Very, very safe. Very safe. So no more having to worry about finding matches. No. Right? No more about what I call walking around with a, a bomb in my hand. Right. Which is right here. Right. Right? Yeah. This is fantastic. No open flame, so you're not going to get burnt. And look at the way it's it's very controlled right between those two right. electrodes. Look how easily it lights the candle. So if, like for your birthday cakes, to light your grill, if you have lanterns or torches in your backyard or mosquito candles or anything like that, this is going to be perfect for you. And the reason I, I love it for outdoors is that it is windproof. Oh. Okay? You can take this outside in the wind and still use it, whereas with a conventional lighter, that's not going to be the case. Of course okay? not. Right. You can use this in the rain and it'll still work because the electrical charge is still going to jump back and forth. So let me show you this quick okay. demonstration. We have a fan right here, okay? Here's a conventional lighter, all right? Yeah. I'm going to light this and you're going to see, I'm going to turn the fan on first. Okay, and I'm gonna light the conventional lighter. And now notice, there's the flame. The minute it goes in front of the wind, we already know what's gonna happen, right? right. It's gonna blow out. And if I take my tack lighter and I press the button, and you can hear it, you hear that it's oh, still going? Yeah. Can you yeah. hear that? There's still that arc going there. The wind cannot put that out because that's electricity jumping between those two electrodes. That's what's so amazing about this is there's no way to stop that from happening. That's a little science for you right yeah, there. And, I like and technically it. that's plasma that's jumping back and forth between those two things. So if you want to light something with this, all you've got to do, actually I could do it in the wind. I don't know, I don't know why I was going to turn that off. Because we're used to doing that. that that's exactly when we're what we're used to, to light doing. Something. When you're trying to light something. Look at that. How that just lights that right up. And see, look, and the wind's going to blow the flame out, but the tack lighter could light it in that wind. Exactly. That's what's incredible about this. So I want you to think about some of the applications. And I know a lot of you out there are like going, look, I already got lighters. You got lighters, but do you Not have like these? Do you go out and buy these little disposable lighters mm -hmm. and think about how much they cost every time you buy one and you get one like this. You go in your pocket to light something and there's no fuel left in it. It's completely empty, okay? What are you gonna do? Throw it away, buy another one. With the tack lighter, you just recharge it and you know from the LEDs on the side how much power is left inside of it, okay? How about this? Maybe you get a lighter and it just has this really sorry little low flame on it. And that's not, I mean, it's a flame, but it's not gonna light anything. And the minute it gets hit with a little bit of a breeze, that's gonna go out. Again, tack lighter to the rescue, because look at the way that flame just jumps. Not even a flame, sorry. That electrodes, the power, the plasma is jumping between the two of those. And, or, this is my favorite one. Somebody hands you a lighter and it does this, whoosh. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like an arc welding torch right there. Well, guess what? That's dangerous. Tack lighter is always a very controlled flame. You just see right there, or sorry, plasma. I keep saying flame because it really does well, light yeah. things on fire. That's what's so <laughs> amazing. And look at this. Look how close my finger is to that, okay? It's not burning me. I'm not feeling any heat come off of this because it's the electricity going back and forth between the two. As long as something doesn't go between the electrodes, it's not going to light it on fire. It's not gonna, right. It's Unless gonna, it goes between the electrodes. Which is what you want. Which is what you, you which want. Which is what you want. Right. So I don't know if you guys have been able to see or that? not the plasma. Oh. Let's, let's try this for a second. Way to go, Lou. Right there. He's reading my mind. Do you guys see that? So now Can I'm, you see I'm, the arc? I stopped pressing it. I'm pressing it. So do you see that? That is you, like really. There's electricity jumping between those. Cool. It, takes, it takes two hours to charge this fully with a USB charger, okay? Thank you. But you don't have to have a full charge to use it. You will get a hundred strikes out of this whenever you use it. So if you're somebody that really loves candles, this is a must have for you, okay? Because the, the gone are the days of feeling the flame come back at your fingers and burn your fingers, mm -hmm. you know? That's not gonna happen anymore. Uh, so many other uses of this. I love this one right here, because if you cut a piece of rope, you really do need to do that to the 
ends of it to make sure it's not going to unravel. And then for lighting your grill, it's fantastic for that as well. In fact, I'm going to do that in a second. What a good just idea. to show you. Yeah, it's it's a really neat thing, this lighter. I love this just because it's so handy. Now, if I wanted to light my grill and I've got a piece of paper like this, okay, mm -hmm. watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the lighter and I'm just going to stick that paper in between right there and look at that. See the flame? Whoa. That quickly. I mean, it was just in a couple of seconds. It started to light that. Very, very easy. I'm just going to drop that in there right into Any the grill. Any grill master needs this. Yeah. I'm telling right. you, especially on a windy day, like down here in Florida, we it's 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 beautiful, but it's also very windy. It okay, is, yeah. This is a lighter that's going to work outside. It's going to work in the wind. It's going to work in the rain, Camp and it's great for boaters for camping. Campers. Have you ever bought the uh, special uh, um, uh, matches Water that they make matches. for waterproof yeah. matches? For yeah. They're ridiculously expensive. <laughs> okay, this is rechargeable and it does the same thing. Okay. Okay, and here are the colors you can choose from: the black, the white, the safety red, or your purple. You get a little carry case. It comes with your charger, you, the charge cable. Believe me, you've got some of these around your house. But it's nice that it comes with. You know why waterproof matches are expensive? Because right. they're valuable, right? Oh, yeah. Because in the rain, in the wind, in the, that weather, you need a flame sometimes. And when you need a flame, you need a flame. There's like not a lot of substitutes for it, right? Yep. So people that. are willing to pay more for waterproof matches. How about this instead? And it'll do 100 lights 100 per lights charge. off a full charge. And look what I'm doing. I'm lighting a piece of fatwood on this. And if you've ever tried to light fatwood, yeah, it burns, but it's kind of, it can be kind of hard to do sometimes. Look at the way. Oh, See the flame I'm, yeah. I'm making right there? That's what's so neat about this is that it has so many different uses and it's so much safer than anything else you're using. Look what I did here. It you just, made fire. I made fire. Yes. You know, and here's the, here's the interesting thing. Now, we just came through Hurricane Irma a couple weeks ago, okay? And we all got real primal down here in Florida oh, because we didn't have it. power. A lot of people didn't have water. They didn't have anything, okay? No, ele you know, no electricity, nothing, all right? I used all of my Bell & Howell products, and I'm talking about my flashlights, my lanterns, and this little guy right here, the tack lighter, to light my grill, to cook meals on it, to do all sorts of things. Because let's face it, everybody thinks we're prepared until we get into a situation like that, and then you run out of matches. And yeah. then what are you gonna do? Well, this is like having a hundred matches in your pocket, but special matches that will always light in the wind, in the rain, anytime you need them, and that flame will never surprise you. It's always that same little arc that's on there that is going to light whatever you need, but look at this, it's not gonna burn you. I got my finger as close to that as I can get it. I'm not gonna burn myself on this, okay? So that's why I tell you, if you want something that's really safe, remember when you put it in your pocket, I'm gonna turn it around, you push this down, and look, the electrodes go away, so you can't light that. The button's even covered, and then you just put the cover on it, just like that. I'm thinking of the Thanksgiving table, lighting those, oh, the those candles. candles. You know what? Let's right? talk about Let's that for a second. That. Well, here's the thing. A lot of, oh, here we go. Look at this, the magic. Wow. But look at the way you can light the candles with this, and there's no flame coming back at your fingers. But I want to show you something else, which I think is really neat, with different candle situations. And that's when you have a candle that's inside of a piece of glass like this, okay? Or even something deeper, where you can certainly put your hand in there, but if you do, you risk burning your fingers if you're using a conventional lighter, because we all know how that flame wants to come back on your finger, mm -hmm. right? Okay, with the tack lighter, I can put this in here, press that button, and you can see clearly it's lighting that flame, all right? But it's not going to burn me, and that's what's so neat about this. It's hard to tell when this is lighting because I'm holding it at a weird angle away from me. So but isn't that cool? That is smart technology right there. This is safety first. This is also going to be a lot of fun for yeah. entertaining. This is going to be... And you have to buy these. Yeah. You're not going to need these, these things anymore. I didn't know these existed. I just bought two of those. Oh, did you really? Seriously, well, well, they're still in the package. I'm returning and, them. and when these run yeah. out, they have a little window on the side to show you how much gas is in them. When they run out, guess what? You throw them away. You buy more. Okay, with the tack lighter, if you lose your charge on this, remember, you've got that little display on the side to show you. If you lose the charge on this, you just plug it in and recharge it, and you can use the same charger that you use for your cell phone. I mean, it's very, very simple to do, even to the, into your computer if you had to. Boaters, campers, everybody. Uh, everybody. Yeah. Seriously, if anybody has a need for a match, they need this. And who has a need for a match? Everybody at one stage or another. For the emergency kits, for sure. For the backpack gear that you have, the to-go bags for, you know, heaven forbid you have to evacuate like we did. Um, this is essential. I have some friends who seem to have all the gear in the whole world. They don't have this. And this is a really, really smart idea. Whether it's in the bath for your relaxing bubble bath candles, or you're trying to make a meal, out there for um, for the family when yeah. you're grilling. Yes. 
This is, as usual, brilliant. Thank you so much. Listen, I'm gonna run inside, okay. and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, I will be there in a moment. Okay, good, okay, okay. okay. All right, now, a couple on. more things, though. I wanna, let's, go back, let's go back to this demonstration right here, because I wanna show you this. Here's our fan, and it's still running, and if you don't understand why you'd wanna have a plasma lighter, an electric lighter, watch this. I can take a regular lighter, hold it out here, and the minute I put it in front of that flame, we all know what's gonna happen. It's gonna go out. So if you're trying to light something outdoors, this is not gonna be a great solution for you. Plus, when it runs out of gas, it's going to be expensive, right? If I take the tack lighter, I press the buttons on, you, you can hear it more than you can see it. Watch this. You hear that? Can you hear the electrical charge? Yeah. So I can pull that out of the flame. It's lit. I put it out the flame, the wind, put it back in there, and you can hear how that's still ready to work right there. It's going to light whatever I put in it. Now, here's the other thing. If I take a regular lighter and I hold it here like this and I spray water on it, I think we all know the minute it gets wet, it's going to stop. I can light it over and over again, but that water's gonna put it out. If I take the tack lighter, do the same thing, and spray it, still working, never stopping. No matter how many times I spray the water on that, it is not stopping those electrodes. It's not stopping that electricity from going back and forth. So for camping situations, for situations where the power's out, you got to light the stove, this is perfect for you. Or even just everyday use around the house. Think about the money you're spending on lighters and how you can never find them, you know? You're getting these today. You're gonna be able to have this in a drawer, recharge it when you need it. You're never gonna have to get any butane again or anything like that to, f to fill these up. You're gonna be able to use this indoors, outdoors, and they're much safer to use. Why? Because those electrodes retract, you put a cover on it, and you're good to go. Okay? So, that is the tack lighter. What do you think, Siobhan? I think it's one of the best things that we've had in ages and truly, truly new. So, definitely try it for yourself. And it is exclusive only here at HSN.